timetable for them so that they would read more books. Mm. Um, I've been praying that I'll find an opportunity to take out their gadgets. Unfortunately, <laughs> one of them committed. <laughs> so my husband sees the gadget and said, till next month, April. Mm. Hi. And they came to meet me, hoping that mommy will play. Me, that was happy. That they will ah, have I'm gadgets. enforcing it all. I've seized it, no gadgets during... Uh, weekdays, no TV during weekdays. Mm. You know, just try to break. Always been the rules sanity. in my house. They kind of yeah. know during the week. No it's TV. been the rules in yeah. my house, but these kids have a way of taking. They will tell you, "We're doing assignments. Yeah. We're doing. I have something on Google Classroom, yeah. and then they are doing something else. Yeah. So now, no gadgets. So yeah. it'll be fine." Yeah, so the schools are saying that they might actually do um, online, online classes this week because of the elections. Everybody's always scared of elections, and they're worried that the, the kids might um, be at harm's way just in case anything happens. So. Um, from Thursday, I think Friday, we're going to start having online class, and hopefully everything goes smoothly and they resume. I pray for it's the good time to when be very elections cautious. will not be this scary. Right? I say, I pray for the time when mm. elections will not be this scary. Yeah. It can go on, business can go on as, go usual. On as usual. And then everybody know? will not feel distanced. My school were presently on a long term, mid term break. Two weeks from the presidential till. Okay, so it was part of there was a two weeks break they gave you. It was guys. supposed to end on Monday, but some parents were in the group Same fighting no. that no, <laughs> and I was not among them. Only for me to get the message on Sunday evening that they will not uh, go to school on Monday, so I was still on the week. Well, I mean, it's good. It's better. I'm happy that at least we're still on the safe side, you know, mm -hmm. because when Nigeria when anything anything happens, everything just stops, mm -hmm. and Lagos is not more you want something to happen. Trust me, yeah. traffic. Mm -hmm. Getting like, back, be crazy. Was getting get to where school was. So when I was in primary school, I was schooling in Clegg. And we used to have, have the floods from the Musafejo Canal along Sule to that Baja area. Parents were on short notice made to go and pick their parents. I remember my dad always asked, you know, rescuing us from school on his shoulders and walking up along the side of the gutter so we don't get taken away by the flood waters. But that was then. I think that now should be better. Is how fast will I get to school if something were to happen to me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From your distance. Okay, <clears throat> let's go on a quick break now. When we come back, we go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. Okay. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. Naira scarcity lingers despite Supreme Court judgment. Wari seeks duty-free access for least developed countries. Olani Pekun, 49 others to defend Tinubu's mandate. APC PDB clash over presidential results. INEC to reconfigure BVAS for governorship assembly elections. CBN tackles IMF's claim on Anchor Bora's loans. And 98 senators elect 235, 225 reps elect to get the COR today. Okay. Uh, the major headline. So, yeah. you know, we talked about the cash crunch yesterday and what we expected the CBN to be doing right now. And um, the story says Nigerians still do not have access to cash as at yesterday. It said the banks had no improvements in the cash allocation they've been getting from the Central Bank of Nigeria, even after um, the Supreme Court has given a verdict on recirculation of the old Naira notes. Uh, they said also the situation was not helped by the federal government, uh, who was not able to get the certified true copy of the judgment, that's the CTC, it said um, before the um, matter, before the CBN will give a directive to the banks to begin to release old Naira notes or comply with the judgment, they must have the CTC before anything is done. And um, I think um, the nation saw some of the lawyers arriving at the courts, uh, trying as much as possible to get out the CTCs before anything is done uh, concerning that. It said a lot of customers had to go to the banks to see if they can get uh, the old notes. Nothing was being dispensed. I particularly went to the bank yesterday to get some cash. They said they didn't have anything. Uh, some customers paid me, and I wasn't even able to get any amount of money. So I had just told them to transfer the mm. money into my <coughs> account. And nothing can be done without that CTC. So we're hoping that the uh, uh, government lawyers are able to get the CTC. Once the CTC is collected, then they can hold the government accountable or CBN accountable if nothing is done. Okay. So Chief Wale Olanipekun SAN will be leading 49 others in defending um, the president elect's mandate. They are having their preliminary meeting today and they're expecting the petitions from the Labour Party and uh, PDP. Uh, both um, opposition candidates have registered their displeasure with the uh, 
um, with the elections and they're waiting that they be served within 30 days, I believe. Uh, also, many of the lawyers have said that they are joining not because of what they want to get, but because of their personal conviction that the election was the freest and fairest in the country's history with a large-scale upset. And they're saying some of these well, former uh, Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice, Akin Olujimi, uh, Babatunde Ogala, Roland Otaro, James Onoja, and Muniz Banere, amongst many others. So it's just that all both sides are obviously preparing their team for the uh, tribunal, which will start as soon as the petitions have been served. So the CBN has disagreed with the IMF on the Anchor Boras um, loan that they gave out. They said that um, the IMF's position that, you know, the uh, loans were largely unrepaid is not true, that they've recovered about 52.39% of the loan, that they gave out about um, three, a, a trillion naira, and they've recovered more than half of that amount, about 503 billion have been repaid and that the unrepaid part are not due to uh, any fraud but they're due to um, a moratorium given during COVID due to the COVID-19 forbearance that was granted to some of the beneficiaries of the anchor borrowers and that some of the loans were given out based on the lifespan of the planting season that the intention of the loan of course is to catalyze the economy through some of uh, true farming and some of the farmers period of farming and harvesting is much more further in the future so they said even in 2023 february they gave out about six point uh, sorry 4.57 million to smallholder farmers and that they use that to, to you know to cultivate about 6.2 million hectares of farmland in 21 commodities like um, rice wheat cowpea millet maize and all of this even fish, soya bean, yeah. and all of this, yeah. some of them, their period of, you know, harvest is much more further. And so the, pay, the payment is happening, but, you know, mm. it's happening as profit is coming in, as sales and profit is coming in. So right. it's not about any fraud, as the IMF alleged. The punch. Supreme Court order on old notes banks in partial compliance against skeletal recirculation. Whitney, Chrisland seeks autopsy review. Inquest begins April 4th. 50 feared killed as suspected headsmen invade Benue communities. 203 hoodlums arrested during presidential polls, says police. INEC challenges Atiku Obi suit on beavers. Don't handle education like Buhari, Asu tells Tinumbu. Mm -hmm. And Atiku vows to extend protest demands result cancellation. Mm. Okay. Ouch. Okay, so let's go to Whitney. So presently, the corona's inquest is still ongoing. Both lawyers to um, uh, Whitney and lawyers to Chrisland are saying that they have not been able to get their witness application because they don't know how to get it. The, the magistrate, Olabisi Fajano, has you know, requested that the states um, should allow the process for their um, witnesses to come to be done. I, I think that's because they're all, all, depending on the autopsy reports that you know has been has been gotten but then the lawyer won any time the lawyer to the school was ask, asking the courts to seeking to get samples mm. sample and materials to carry out an independent evaluation of that autopsy report which of course sparked the lawyer Femi Falano, the lawyer to Whitney's uh, family to, to you know to say that this autopsy that was done before the eyes of everybody including them yeah. including them your representative were there what kind of report were you looking for and that so that shows some inconsistency and insincerity on the part of mm, chris land yeah. in one uh, voice you're saying you did not ask for the body to be assumed but in another voice you're asking, yeah, for, asking samples for samples and independent. So how do you get the samples without exhuming the, report the body has been done all witnesses you know were present <coughs> at the time of autopsy let's just move forward you know Asu has urged the president-elect Bola Tinumbu to treat academics and education as utmost priority. Um, he said they are according to uh, Professor Bolaum, um, Bolahon, Bolarin, that's the National Executive Council um, chairman. He was saying specifically that the president-elect should not treat education as uh, President Muhammad Buhari did. He said that he cannot afford to treat academics like he did, that no one should treat university education system with disdain that would make our students to stay at home for eight months because of poor governance. He said that universities um, must be priority in the coming administration. Lecturers have been demanding improved welfare and to proliferation of universities, increased funding amongst others, and he should make that priority once he um, resumes office um, later on in the year. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, so ahead of the March 11th Governorship and State Houses of Assembly election, uh, the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, has revealed that the Nigerian police force recorded and responded to 185 major incidents, arrested 203 electoral offenders, and recovered 18 firearms from the political thugs nationwide during the conduct of the Presidential and National Assembly elections February 25th. He said that... Um, all the cases are currently at various levels of in investigation at the Nigerian Police Electoral Offences, and they will be concluded and then processed to the legal department of INEC to uh, prosecute in due course. And one of the reasons they decided to, you know, do this was uh, to have... Uh, debrief officers that have been posted to the election security management uh, duties and appraise their performances, find out the gaps of what happened so that they are better prepared for the coming elections uh, this Saturday. So hopefully this time around we'll have you know, less violence. All right, so INEC is asking, um, that's the Independent National Electoral Commission, is asking that it needs to recon reconfigure the BVAS, that's the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System, for the next round of elections, if you recall, um, the courts had asked, granted an order for the candidates of the PDP and the LP to um, be able to review the BVAS. But they are saying that the commission urged the presidential election court to vary the orders granted um, um, so that the candidates can, uh, Atiku and um, the, uh, Peter Obi, can uh, inspect the materials used for the last elections once they've configured, getting it prepared for this Saturday's election. The so NINEC in a motion <clears throat> notice filed on March 4th is praying the court to vary the order which restrained it from tampering with the materials used for the elections. They need it for this weekend and they're asking uh, for it to be completed. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Daily Sun. APC mocks PDP as Atiku IU lead protests to INEC. Senate Presidency APC tips Southeast. INEC asks court to modify order granting OB Atiku access to election materials. APC North Central Forum wants next House of Rep Speaker zone to the region. Zamfara killings. Nigerians must defeat merchants of death, says Tinumbu. Guba Assembly polls. CSOs won INEC against repeats of presidential election mistakes. And February 25 polls, 203 nabbed, 18 firearms recovered from political thugs, says Inspector General of Police. Okay, which story are we starting with? In Major headline. Major headline, okay. So the APC and some of the chieftains of the APC reacted to the protests led by the presidential candidate of the PDP and some of the PDP chieftains as well. To INEC office yesterday, according to the National Secretary of the Party, Yomel Mishori, said the protest is very undemocratic, that their actions are undemocratic. They are just plain losers, simple. They are just pure losers. And um, the presidential candidate of the APC, the president elect, said Atiku and his motley crowd have descended to a new low as perennial election losers, and that. Um, uh, the f uh, former governor of, uh, sorry, the PCC and some other members of the, mm. also said like words about the protest yesterday. We'll react later on um, during our whole topic. Okay, I was going to take the APC, um, uh, hoping that they can merge, no, they can um, zone the Senate presidency to the Southeast, the National Working Committee, according to inside sources, said that because the president-elect is from the Southwest, uh, the vice president-elect, Kashim Shatima, is from the northeast. Therefore, the number three man, therefore, should be from the southeast. I said that the, the, the national committee members said some elders of the party have been having these conversations in line with the regional tripod in the country. And they revealed that they, are, they, were, they were of the view that in the spirit of inclusiveness, Tinubu will pay, it will pay us, and that, as according to them, pay them to ensure that they zone the Senate presidency to the east so that things can at least be, look fair and with equity across the board. And that's the conversation they're having according to this report within the National Working Committee. So, President-elect, but uh, 
Uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu urged Nigerians to come together to defeat merchants of death and terror once and for all. And he was talking about the mindless killings that has been happening. Um, they said he made the appeal while condemning uh, last week's attack in Maru local government of Zamfara state and Gado local government and Kano state by bandits and unknown assailants. So according to uh, the story, I think I took that story yesterday, a divisional police officer, a police inspector and a vigilante were reportedly uh, killed in bandit attacks in Zamfara. They also mentioned that in Kano, uh, there was also an attack by unknown gunmen that broke into the residence of a village head and shot him dead. So he is appealing and asking that we need to do more. The country needs to come together with all the security uh, machineries to ensure that these sort of killings um, come to an end finally. And so he's going to be liaising with the uh, inspector of police and working towards this so that we have more peace, especially in most of these hotbed areas. Okay. <clears throat> That's the in um, Vanguard. Vanguard. Polls, Tinubu lashes out as article leads protest to INEC. That's why the story was not taken. Presidential poll, INEC seeks variation of inspection order granted to Obi and Atiku. Diphtheria outbreak kills 61 in Kano. We need 869 billion naira to conduct census. <clears throat> CSOs, others kick as reps majority leader Dugawa gets bail. And um, Naira redesigned banks obey Supreme Court's pay old notes. Okay, Which so story is starting with? let me take the Dogoa story. So remember I took it that, you know, the magistrate, uh, chief magistrate in Kano had ordered that he be remanded in prison over the allegations of, he was charged for um, conspiracy, criminal conspiracy, culpable homicide, unlawful possession of firearms, mischief and incitement of the public, of public disturbance because of his speech and led to the uh, setting on fire of a, of a party's office and killing of two people in the car. And the um, high court yesterday in Kano, the federal high court in Kano, granted him bail. I'm just trying to read it so that I don't, I can't believe that the application for the bail was granted with 500 naira. Eh? I just cannot. I believe this is a typo error, and two reliable shorties in like some, but I think maybe 500 million naira. That's the mistake. The court said that the shorties must be a first class emir and a senior officer in the civil service <laughs> and they granted him bill but you know have um Kano state civil service forum and some other citizens and um, and some other cso's kicking against this um bill that was granted to him and i joined them i don't think he should be granted bill just like that for the seriousness mm. of the kind of offense that he yeah. was charged for but you know um, his lawyers defended and said that he was entitled, he was presumed innocent until proven otherwise and entitled to some form of freedom. And so the court gave him limited freedom, like this is why I don't believe it's for 500 naira. Mm. Okay, another story in Vanguard. Yes, so uh, in Kano State, said no fewer than 61 persons uh, died from the outbreak of diphtheria in Kano. Uh, according to Salman Suwaid, that's the Kano diphtheria case manager, he spoke yesterday at a webinar organized by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, uh, with the theme diphtheria outbreak in Nigeria vaccination response. He says the infection is caused by the Korean bacterium species that affects the nose, throat and sometimes the skin of the individual. And some symptoms of uh, diphtheria include fever, running nose, sore throat, cough, red eyes, neck swelling, and difficulty in breathing. And in totality, they've had 783 patients that have been admi admitted in various hospitals so far in Kano. And the average hospital uh, stay for each patient is about four days. They also said 83% of deaths occurred in patients with the onset of symptoms greater than three days, an average of 15 admission days. 68% of patients have been discharged. That's a 166% uh, patient also absconded and 12.2% died. And now um, they're going to be working together to see how they can create a vaccination that would help to sort out uh, this issue. I think they are having clinical and immunization interventions right, right now. To try so the Minister, the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Clement Agua, was saying yesterday that the country needs 869 billion naira to conduct not just the census, but also housing census, population census, and also housing census. According to them, the government has paid for the 6% of the money, which is 327.2 billion um, so far, has been given the entire figure is at $1.88 billion. 
Now, according to him, he said that the figure looks huge. Of course it does. He said that, but you know, in the United States per person is $16. In Botswana, they spend $10. In Nigeria, it's was about $6 per person. So it's very reasonable. I'm sure you can see it's very reasonable. Wow. So far, according to them, because census hasn't been conducted <laughs> in two <laughs> decades. Dollars. And it's something that they're, they're bringing in new technology. According to them, this census will be digital, green, and, um, and it will be transformative, adding that the beyond insecurity and cultural issues, funding remains a major issue, and they're hoping that people can also support them. You know, Nigerians can support them cash and kind. People like Nima, you can also provide them with uh, purchase tablets for enumerators, internet, data connectivity, as well as conduct training. So you are a trainer, they need you in the census. Yeah, they should come and give me work. <laughs> so, so, this man would also kill somebody. I don't understand. But, but, but if anybody can give us an idea how much it's going to cost to do we a population contract, they should, and yeah, uh, let us housing know. census. If okay. So Let's see how much time we have. The Nigerian Tribune, Let's see how much time we have. Okay, PDP makes five point declaration to INEC on presidential poll. Some banks begin payment of old 500, 1,000 notes in Lagos, Abuja, and Delta. Many Nigerian politicians are mere opportunists. Bishop Fakwe. 10th National Assembly. Senators reps APC National Working Committee to meet Tinubu over choice of principal officers. Any story we've not taken here? I'm okay, not sure. let's just take the banks. So, so um, some banks have started paying old Naira notes, and the um, Tribune went into town and found that. Um, Sterling Bank at Yanokwaja, Access Bank at Yanokwaja as well, were paying the old 500 and 1,000 Naira notes, nice. as well as um, GT Bank that issued it along with um, Polaris, UBA, they were paying. Oh, fantastic. But the acting director, Corporate Communications of the CBA, Nisa Abdulmin on Saturday said, we, we don't have anything to say for now. Mm. Remember that, you know, the president, Muhammad Buhari, only executed about just the 200, old 200 Naira notes. And, you know, the CBN say they must follow the directive of the... Not the Supreme Court. Of the president, president not, the, not Supreme the Supreme Court. Court. So they Who have not said talking? anything on the Supreme Court. Who is this person talking? Judgment. The acting director, corporate communications of the CBN, mm. Issa Abdulmoumin. And they arrest him. In fact. Someone like that should be arrested. Yes, for, for contempt of court. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You should show examples of this kind of people. You don't have anything to but say. You to open your mouth and say that kind of thing. Of the Supreme ah. Court. You arrest you first. I'm Use your scapegoat. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's go on a break. <laughs> Mo is looking for scapegoat this morning. I'm looking for scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you don't look for contract for us. Yeah. For us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So this morning we're discussing about the spiritual aspect <laughs> of the Asso Villa. And this is I'm referencing uh, Mr. Ruben Abati's article of 2016. You can Google it, The Guardian. I can even tell you where it is, The Guardian, where he was sharing with us his experience living in the villa. And the reason why this is important, because we mentioned it yesterday and we kind of laughed over it. But the truth is that it's important for someone like a Ruben Abati to write an article such as this, it's worth looking at a second time. Let me give you a few excerpts from, um, according to, let me paraphrase a bit. So he was saying that when, at the time he was given oh, an apartment within the villa to live in, and he was going to move there with his family and his children, and then a pastor came in there to stay with them just to pray. And the pastor said that lots of sacrifices have been made in the villa, um, that um, somebody always loses something in the, in, 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 in the villa once you come in. So he, and even he experienced it that, was telling the, the pastor was saying that there'll be a fire that would happen and the, that lots of things would be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That he needs to be careful that he and his family should not stay in the villa because if they do, something dies. And according to him, according to what Ruben Abati was saying, that um, I thought the man was talking nonsense. And then he wanted that maybe that he wanted to stay in a luxury hotel. But he, he turned out to be right. The day I hosted family members in that apartment in the villa, they slept overnight. There was indeed a fire accident and guests escaped and almost died. Not long after, the president's physician, living two compounds away, had a fire accident and also almost lost his lives. According to him, he said that, I can confirm that every principal officer suffered one tragedy or the other. It was as if you needed to sacrifice something to remain on duty inside the villa. Even some of the women became merchants of dildo because they had suffered a special kind of death 
in their homes. The men also complained about something died beneath their belts. Mm. The ones who did not have such misfortune had one ailment or the other that they had to nurse. From cancer to brain, prostate surgery, and whatever, the villa was a hospital full of agonizing patients. That's according to Ruben Abati. Okay. This was 2016. Okay. Now, so when we're discussing the demons of the Asu Villa, it's not because we're just saying it out of the room. Somebody who had lived in there is telling us that it is a possibility. And the conversation is, what do we go do going forward? This new president-elect coming into Asu Villa, would we advise he goes into Asso Villa, or would we advise he find somewhere outside Asso Villa and lead the nation from outside the villa? That's the conversation this morning. What are your thoughts? You can call us on 081-270-53687-091-390-7694. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Obiajilu, what are your <laughs> thoughts on this? Because this is the, um, about seven years ago. Right? Yeah. It's not so long ago. So I'm not sure if the demons have left, if they're still there. We don't know. <laughs> but um, the point is, I mean, I, I don't know anybody that lives in the villa now, so I don't know if, if, if it's still the same thing. Mm. What are your thoughts on, on, this, on this article? So I wish he went ahead to tell us that maybe the demon whispers to leaders mm. not to do what they're supposed to do. You know? But the story is all about what happens to you personally, uh, tragedies, accidents, which happens to every other person on the streets. People have their demons. People have their tragedies. People, uh, somebody just lost a child in a school. Somebody lost a child before in a pool, in a school. Somebody, you know, accidents happen. Things happen to human beings all around. When it's your turn, you will collect one share or the other. There was a time rain fell in Alagbado, my roof. In fact, it was raining inside my house. There was a time I had an accident. My car was, it was just the grace of God that made me survive. And I'm not in Aso Villa. So that's conversation should not even, you know, yesterday we were playing when we said, yes, of course, there are demons and all that. But that is not a conversation that we should look side by side with leadership. Because when it comes to leadership, and I'm sure if other uh, countries will tell you how uh, they felt some spirits in their uh, homes and their villas and their um, government houses, we will all have the same stories side by side. Because these things happen when you gather a lot of people together, they come in with their different energies, and then you will be, some things will be seeping out, you are noticing some things, you are feeling some type of way, some certain days, but that shouldn't stop leadership. But okay, so we'll come that to shouldn't the... stop Wait. you from doing being competent okay. and doing what you're supposed to do when so it comes to your we'll work. So come to competence in a second. I wanted to just deal with the the fact that it, could it be could it be true? Let me give you another part of this this that article. I come to you, Nima. He said, and I quote: "I recall the example of one particular man who was an asset to the Jonathan presidency, who practically ran away from the villa." He said he needed to save his life. He was quite certain that if he continued to hang around the villa, he would die. I can't talk about the colleagues who lost daughters, sons, brothers, uncles, mothers, fathers, and many obituaries that was issued. Now, so there's, we'll discuss leadership in a minute, if it affects their work. But the demon, the possible demon spiritual that is somewhat in Aso Villa, do you think in the case that it's something that is scary for us to warn the president-elect and his family not to enter or so that they can lead Nigeria properly? Wait, no. Before go, we go to leadership, mm. we'll talk about cir some circumstances and happenstances mm. and things that happened in the villa. So I re recall from Obasan just time in 1999 and people will be talking that ah, that Aso Villa, all the military leaders that were there, they were heartless and that if you were not, if you're, as you're going as a democratic leader, something will give. And all the plane crashes that happened during the bus on just time it was because he was in the Aso Villa. It was mm. Obi Omori Nima. telling you. <laughs> this were the no. conversations. This is, this is, no. this is private. You are not careful. Jehovah. Brown. Yeah, I said Brown. Insensitive in Nima. this conversation. But this conversation we must have. Because I understand BC. I'm Muslim. Everything is destined. And um, these are conversations that I have heard people have yeah. since my adult age about leaders and their time in the Aso Villa. So I have not read in detail, mm. except maybe the headline, first paragraph of Ruben Abate's article on this. Yeah. In fact, when I decided not to finish it because I am Muslim. Mm. And, but the gist I'm giving you. Later on, 
this person that we had this conversation talked about Stella Oberson just death and the surgery. And I kept wondering, and he said, she be you see her at He died. You know, that place. Why did he lose anybody? Place. Ah. Why did he, he didn't, lose anybody? But he I'm almost sure. lost his son. The accident was life threatening as well. He said that place is not for the weak, it's not for the faint hearted. He said, even the if where is illness, they said they blow AC. Hey, <laughs> I'm coming there. <laughs> It was blown through the AC, that's why he felt sick. I kept saying, no, but if man is old, maybe he had prostrates, you know, the regular old sickness. He said, ah, Nima, don't be arguing this matter. One fenny AC, you know, and this were some things that, you know, even in my balance of judgment, I sort of thought about them three to four times more. Tom and he, what is happening? But now, you so know? and so this, they say that there's this way they come in there, mm. and one that I agree with because power, power corrupts. Mm. When you sit on top of one wow. kind of seat and yeah. you say, ah, ah, I'm no more this me. I am now powerful. Oh, no, I'm yeah. I, I. <laughs> there's the ability or mm. there's the possibility that you will do, mm. you will do good, or, depending mm. on your own. Level of empathy and your sincerity, your fear. Of I don't know who you but are. do you but think that place? But so, so yes. that, that that is the Aso Villa as a home, as a home. and saying if the first fam the, the first family elect will probably go in there, and if they do, what would you advise? Now we still come to the ability to lead in the second. <laughs> but what would you advise, BC? I mean, what do you think that the family elect should do before entering the villa? I mean, you do, do you need sanctification? Do you need? Holy water, do you need what kind of prayers? I mean, what kind, and should Nigerians start praying? Those of you who actually voted for this for this man to lead, maybe it's time for you to start praying and say, because he's entering the villa, let the spirit of villa not go and turn things around for them. What are your thoughts on do you think it do you start invoking some spiritual help on this? So if they actually believe that there's something in the villa, mm. I think they should do something. But you see, you cannot live above or beyond your beliefs. Mm. Some people will get into that villa because they believe nothing is there. Yeah, nothing will happen nothing to them. Happen to them yeah. Okay, But if they, the uh, president-elect and his family, believe that the way we've heard stories about this villa, mm. it's possible we will get there now and some things will begin to start affecting us. Mm. Then they must do what I call a cleansing. Mm. And it may not even be like um, a spiritual cleansing, so to mm. speak. It could just be cleaning out energy. Just mm. ensuring that every thought that you have is mm. positive. Yeah. Ensuring that you have, you go in there with your own culture. Mm. And that's also if you have your own personal culture. So if, for, for instance, in your home or in your other um, leadership positions, you have is instilled excellence that mm. this is how we go we do do things right we do this you must insist on it when you get into the villa that this is the way we go no matter what anybody says we are going to follow this right and right and right and right well, if you are a spiritual person like a religious person who believe that i need to come and do a form of uh you know washing of head uh, bathing in the river or you know getting prayer warriors to come and kabash and all of that Whatever you believe in, yeah. you should go there with your prayer warriors and let them pray yeah. and sanctify. So, so you need like a pastor of MFM right now. Mm -hmm. to start praying towards you and start planning what you can do for deliverance in that. So if that's you one. In that. Now let's talk about the seat of power, the president elect. <laughs> because they're saying that once they enter that villa, this is what that you saying, president elect, please make sure education is priority. People are saying, uh, ensure that we have uh, jobs for, the, for, for, the, for, for young people. Mm. We are, there's a lot of demands and requests, there are a lot of asks for. For, for our new president-elect, you see that when he now enters that seat of power, something just turns around. Because this man, the, one of the reasons why people, many people voted for him was because of the examples of what he did in Lagos. So they expected him to do even better, much, even more. much, much more. And he now enters Asurok. And then some, some spiritual thing now turns everything around. How can we prevent What do you think well, we can someone do? Someone like him, I'm rested. I'm not worried. Because he's a master planner. He's someone who drafts out a plan. That's how he was in Lagos, having a plan. So finding the people. So he shouldn't there. have that plan in Asurok. He, he should have the plan uh, before Asurok. Asurok Gongo, he should have the plan before he goes there. Because should, yes. what happened in President Buhari's first term was that everything was not consistent. He did not have a plan. Because mm. ministers were not ready in six months. You know, they were just planning things. But there was a body language. And we used that to drag and carry everything yes. till he felt sick. So we don't want a body language. We want a, an actual plan. 
And I think when you have an actual plan, something you have written out, people like BC who are coaches have always advised that if you want something done, you write it down. Yeah. And don't be like me that I don't write it down. Must he stay in Asu Villa, Nima? Must he stay in Asu Villa? He has to. So 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 must he? Why he, does he, he have to stay else? at the defense house now? Because he's no longer his own person. He's mm -hmm. now the property of the, like, the country. All taxpayers' monies will be used to provide for him. His security is he's the number one citizen. Everything that comes from the office yeah. has to get. So the Asu Villa, unfortunately, was built by some military aide mm -hmm. who was a heartless a dictator. Mm. So we say the person brought the demon that was there. Mm, the heartless mm. demon that is there. That is there. Okay. But you know, he has to have a master plan, something that guides him, something that he mm. checks every day and says, mm. Have I done this? Have right. I done this? Have Let I me go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll open our phone lines and get some messages and hear what Nigerians think about the demons in Asu Villa. Stay with us, we'll be right yeah. back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing the demons, the alleged demons in Asso Rock. You can call us on the numbers on your screen, 0812 You can also <coughs> tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. So some of you may recall our president, present president's wife, Aisha Bwari, is hardly in this villa. She's in Dubai, I'm told. She spends most of her time in Dubai. Some of her alleged is because of these same spiritual forces mm. that are not allowing her to have peace Demons in the villa. Driver. Because remember how many fights <coughs> she used to have in the villa? Even um, there were issues of altercations which she had within the villa. Mm. Um, even the former president, uh, Jonathan, we had different things that happened within during this period. So what can be done to cleanse Aso Villa? Or can they even totally destroy it mm. and yeah. rebuild from scratch? Or this new president-elect, would we advise him to find somewhere else to lead from, not to enter Aso Villa, if there are so many evil spirits waiting for him and his family. Sometimes it's what you know that cannot harm you. Mm. So they've said it, that they are there. How do you go in? First, Let me pause you for a second. I have Kunle, he's been holding, and he said he doesn't have much credit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kunle, are you there? Hello, man. You're, You're alive. Here, man. Good morning, man. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, you people there in that studio, man, <laughs> <laughs> and your program, mm. you will remain blessed forever, man. Amen. So, God will lift you up more than your expectation, man. Amen. For this topic you brought this morning, man, <sighs> I was the one that called you yesterday. Raise okay. this issue, man. Okay. Please, man, this is your program today. Go and write it down. It will be a hero for us to do a presidency. Go and write it down, man. Mm. Let me tell you this, man. I am not a pastor. I am not a pastor. But God created, to, he, he gave every one of us his grace that is living inside us. So, let me tell you, if that as, as a villa in this Nigeria should remain the seat of power, where the policies of government will be coming out, forget about the, the, the progress of this country, man. Mm. Entirely. Go and write it down today, man. Wow. Mm. Can I, if, if your system will not cut me off, let me tell you my students, man. I'm not supposed to say this, <coughs> but I will say it out today because of this your program, man. Before God and man, I'm a Muslim. In, 19, in 2015, man, the moment President Buhari became the winner of that election, man, before God and man, before he was moved to Owasso Villa, when he was in that uh, defense house, I hear a voice, man. Tell me that, go and tell that man, if that man wants to succeed in his government, tell him not to live inside the Atoll Rock in a second, not to talk of one minute. Hmm. That is the first message. The second one was that he should go and call all the association of economies and hand over Nigeria economy on, on, on them. Do, 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 do you know what, man? 
I borrowed my wife's Android by then, 2015. So go and send message, that message. So you want to deliver the message through uh, President Buhari's uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter handle. Mm. I copied that Facebook number through the television. You know, by that time, they pasted the, his uh, Facebook number and the Twitter handle on the NCA by that time. That's where I copied from. I sent that message. Anytime I was able to meet uh, Mr. Adesina, Mr. Adesina, if I tell him that uh, experience, man, the man used to, he doesn't catch it at all. See, let, let me tell you, uh, Ruben Nabati, he confirmed that message, man. That yes, they're talking right. inside that. Thank you very much, Mr. Kunle. Let me add to that. So, um, we will not deny that there are strongholds everywhere. Even if we go to the scriptures where I remember Daniel was praying and then God answered his prayers. But then there were demons that stood, demons of that area that held down the prayers. And he was like, I've prayed. God said, I've answered you since, so you need to go and sort out these people. Mm. Cleared them from the road. Mm. So even, in the t even for a prophet who had access to God directly, can still withstand or can still have demons hold the prayer. So there are strongholds everywhere. And I know that with success, mm. any form of success comes evil eyes on you at every level. I've mm. seen people around me who just got small position in the office, small mm. position. The attacks, mm. the battles they had to fight. Mm. Thankfully, some of them were strong in what they believed in and they were able to come out of it. And some people sometimes just say, I'm not taking this position again before I die here. Let me just go and become an mm. ordinary human being. Mm. But the thing about this matter is some people already know what to expect. Some people are already strong. They know that I want to get into this. They're fortified. Going, they're fortified. That's the word. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to fortify myself because anything can come. So, so I want to our believe, president elect is fortified. I want to believe that he's fortified. So. He is a politician. He has been a politician for a very long time. And I have a kind of place. Mm. He, he, he's not empty handed. He is fortified. But if now following precedent and people's stories, yeah. we're beginning to see that actually there are strongholds in that place that if, you're, if care is not taken, mm. it may derail you. A president can say, I don't want to stay here. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. And get a smaller place and exactly. stay. Exactly. Well, for the I time being. to the uh, house for work, yes. and then I go home. I don't sleep there. My family doesn't stay there. A president can actually say that. I, 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 I'm really hoping so that being, with this conversation, I'm bringing back this article, for those of us that are really hoping for a new Nigeria, I'm really hoping that this new presidency won't bring Nigeria forward. Maybe it will be a good advice that he should reconsider staying in Asso Rock. I don't know what you think. Because maybe it's is an advice for us to tell him that you can lead the nation from a small a house. Small place. They, they have fire. your meetings there. You until Asso Rock, they make, you can have them redo Asso Villa. I, I, Renovate. Re I, I, I don't think it will be such an easy decision. Mm. Because he already has a residence in Abuja. He's not a poor man. Mm. He's a Shiwaju now. And so buying or uh, owning a property in Abuja is not, easy. Uh, mm. is easy for him. Yeah. But I don't think it will be easy for him to just decide mm. to the people of Nigeria right. that he will not stay in the residence provided by the country. We will not country. stop him if he stays Because in to rule this uh, country is not from your pockets. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. It's something that, you know, the country provides what yeah. you used to. Let me take Yakuba. Come to you. Yeah, after you Nima. Yakuba, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Well, You're I'm live. Go ahead, morning. please. Morning. Yeah, and then, okay, good morning. And then, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, for me, old dog, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh, Nima, all probably, uh, uh, Morayo will understand this so fast. Uh, old dog, I think, old dog, I think, Professor Nibi, you got it. It means that, that uh, uh, after 1999, if you look at all the people who are present that occupy that particular place, one thing and the other it has happened to them. Maybe, not that, maybe by, by fluke or by anything, but we are always say that demon is there and all that. But what I want to say is this if it is by law, if law allows President elect to choose where to stay, why not? Why not? Apart from that, let me look at you this. If it's some big constitution now, they will be thinking to go to this president. They are not going there with ordinary, ordinary hands, ordinary face, because they are looking for something. Some people, 
need to talk to them because he's looking for contract. They will not go there for, 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 for free. They will go there with some certain things that me and you don't know. Mm. It is only God Almighty allowed us to help uh, President Helen. And then I believe it is a prayer person. I know that he knows what to do. I don't, I don't have that. I have that very strong in my mind. He knows what to do because he's not a small man. He's not a small guy. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. So the president-elect is a Muslim. His wife is a Christian. We're hoping that they both have forces from their own area. Do they need a third force? They, I'm sure they have already. <laughs> like a traditional... Are they African? I'm just asking Africa. for a third force. They do they, they need a third this, force? No, these two I think people they have. are not ordinary mm. Nigerians. They've yeah. been in governance before. They've had eight years in a government house. They know what they need they to do. They know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. Okay. But... I don't think that the president elect can just decide that he won't be governing the country from us just like that. Mm. But he can have a strategy not to be separated <coughs> from his, okay. um, his so, level so of is... um, his level of um, ah, I'm sure so. the person that you know you can that can hold you down. Yeah, you can have not like you know we know President Buhari did not live in one residence with his wife. That was an issue yeah. because the videos that showed when she was um, uh, having issues with his nephew who returned. Right. During COVID and okay, I have to wrap up. Just yes. something small. There's also a reason why they say we must pray for our leaders. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they are fighting numerous battles. Yeah. They will fight inwardly. They will fight outwardly. And there are a lot of attacks that will be coming. People, cabals who want their will to be done. And the president is saying, no, this is yes. for the people. Yeah. Those ones will be firing. Yeah. The people on one side are shouting. They are firing. You know, we must uphold our leaders with prayer. You know, so that they are able to. All right. We have to wrap up on that. But also, those of you that are doing everything to enter our soul, be like, ah, the president, like, I want to go and do this, that, and go and live oh, in our like, Oh, yourself. <laughs> they are rushing to go and live in our soul, be like, where well, yeah, I know the president led. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get an apartment. Oh, your side, though. Please be spiritually fortified. I'm telling you. Before you enter our soul, All right. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back and bring in our special guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show is a Nigerian politician and the former governor of Ekiti State, His Excellency, Mr. Peter Ayodele Fashpayoshi. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Good to have you on the show. Before you came in, we are talking about demons in Aso Villa. We were worried that um, the new president-elect and his family might have to face these spiritual forces that once he enters like this, ah, all the policy in Nigeria, facts, everything will just nose dive because the demons will not let him walk. Since you've been in government, have you heard about these demons, these strongholds, and would you, what, how do you think you can survive in the, uh, the new president-elect? Well, um, let me appreciate you Nigerians and the good people of Lagos for this opportunity to have uh, a section with you. Uh, when, when you talk about uh, demons, you only welcome visitors you want. Mm. And... Uh, you are, you are what you choose or what you want to associate with. I don't believe there are demons anywhere, particularly in the Azure Rock. Tell me who wants to change me now. I am no more, like my father would say when he was getting close to 70, that I'm a dry fish. You bend me with caution. You bend me with caution. You, every president or every governor carries his own person and his own character to the mm. place mm. and act his character because nobody, nobody is able to change them anymore. They are exactly what mm. they have made of, of themselves. Right. So for me, let me take an instance. There were different presidents at different times. Obasanjo was a very hard personality and very decisive. He acted true to type. Jonathan, a gentleman, acted true to type. Buhari has naturally been a controversial person in terms of 
is ways, which I don't want to go into now because it's yeah. reasonably lame duck now. So I don't want to go into all that. I don't want to mm. open wounds <laughs> and I don't want to castigate anybody anymore, right. especially a man which, to me, in our history, may not be the best president we ever had. But it's time to go and rest. So everybody acts who they are. Yeah. Okay. So the issue of demons, I don't, right. I don't agree. So let, let's go into the business of the day, and I'd like to go right into it, because you're a member of the BOT, uh, Board of Trustees for PDP. I am an automatic uh, member by yes. being a former governor, by, by being a <laughs> former chairman of the PDP's go governor's yes. forum. And your party is currently um, challenging the results of the, current, of the last elections mm. in court. What's your own general assessment of the elections? Do you agree that it was not free and fair? And... Um, do you think it was, there was a need for your party to go to court on this to challenge the results? Well, let me say this. I've said it in my earlier interviews, that nobody wanted our party again in the, at the federal level. I've said it severally. Mm. Pe people don't want... We, we, we didn't even prepare for the election. That is the truth. Mm. You, know, you, remember, you want to know that obi, obese incursion is a clear statement for both APC and PDP, actually. So I'm talking about the federal level, though, because every politics is local. Yes. And at the state level, it's local. So I encourage everybody to support the PDP at the next elections, at the state level. But at the federal level, we never prepare. We prepare to lose. And we lost. How do you prepare to lose? Let, let, let me tell you now. Obi was a member of a party driven away by Ayu. Tambu, um, Kwan Kwan so, a strong, strong member of a party who was driven away as a result of the, the elections they did in uh, Northwest, the zona election. He left. Nobody looked out for him. He said he can go. It's too difficult. He can go. The man left and left with our votes. Mm. Obi left and left with our votes. Mm. The G5 came up and was demanding, give us something in the, in the South. We want the Southern presidency. But the, in the instance case that the Southern presidency, as a result of emergency of uh, Elijah Atiku, let's, let's take it in good faith. And they went further to say, we, want, we have three, four demands. One of the demands is that, Elijah Atiku Abubakar, you, you are 76 now. If we go back to tell our people that not wants to be president eight years back to back, they might not welcome it. But you are already our candidate. Can you please tell Nigerians that you will spend only four years? Because most presidents would deny that they, 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 we didn't say so. He said no. His people said no. He cannot say that. When he gets to office, he will be saying that. They will say, you are going to be 80. What can you still do after it? He said, they say he cannot. He has to be there. The G5 demanded for IU to stand down and allow his Southerner to take over in decision-making of the party. They said no. Tambuwa, the betrayer that betrayed his friend, Wiki. The same Tambuwa became DG. That party became a Northern People's Party. Mm -hmm. So everybody left. We didn't prepare. We were not ready to, for that election. Mm -hmm. We were looking for someone who will help us deny Nigerians currency, who will mm -hmm. make sure there's no money. Mm -hmm. the, those, those, were the, those were the old fashioned strategy they employed. Oh, so you admit that the strategy from your party? It was from... a strategy by mm -hmm. the PDP. It so until they is... started shouting, oh. not until they started shouting, right. that we responded. That's the truth. We responded because people were beginning to now give the same party to another party, mm. believing it was, it was, they went to mislead Mr. President for a purpose. Mm. You understand? So for me, we were, we were designed, we prepared, we were set for this loss. And will it not amaze you? How can you be in court challenging the results and you are still doing protest? protest? And I told you, the last interview, I said it the last interview, that if you see any protest, 
It is PDP. The ones they did, they were saying they are civil society. Which civil society? Is Atiku civil society organization member? So let me, is, let he, me, is he an activist? Let me throw For him to start climbing the pickup and start leading, uh, the rally has come and gone. And if you are, you are either in court or I like INECO and I like police for not stopping them. When you waka, 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 waka town, you will go back to your house, be tired. Sir, mm. yes. it, was, it was obvious that um, the party was divided. We all saw it. We saw it in the news. Badly we heard divided. it. Yes. And we kept predicting that a house that is divided against itself will not, not stand. Cool. Now, do you think the PDP has realized their mistakes and they are really um, regretting the steps they took? Look, yes, yes, that question to me, a, a PDP that was grandstanding to an election. If you want to go, go. If you want to go, go. Not to vote for Atiku. That was why I said, I thank the North for allowing Nigeria to be united by the outcome of this election. By allowing this election to, by the president elect to come to, from the South. You see, our target originally was either Obi or Ashwaju because they are Southerners. Mm. And the responsible people in the North were able to see reason and give their support to the South. Largely. Why didn't your party, I'll come to you, Nima, why didn't your party give the Southerner the candidate? Why article? You see, that was why I, 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 I was avoiding to use some words. Tambua was supported by Wiki. In 20, 2019, 2019, I was part of a team. We worked for Tambua because we felt that Buari from the north, let it be a northern issue. Mm. So it was an election largely by the north. Yeah. Mm. I know the role we played, particularly Wiki, mm. to ensure that north took that space, particularly Tambua. In the reconciliation, we all went and worked for Atiku. Mm. It was the time now that the South, Southern governor sat and agreed that this thing must go to the South. In fact, they went as far as to say, it would be nice if there's a governor president and a governor vice president. Mm. They agreed. Towards the primaries of the APC, the Northern governor signed a document and said, let this thing be taken by our Northern brothers. Tambua, on the day of the primaries, came out and said, Step. I stepped down wow. for Atiku. Wow. It, it is the style. It's been like that. That is the truth. Mm. The, the, the funny part, which I don't like to refer to, is that what goes around in life comes around. In 2015, it was the same Tambua that fought PDP, that decamped finally as a speaker to PDP. It was the same Tambua who denied the Southwest the, the slot of a speaker, speaker. in 2011. That was go, supposed to go to Molika. It was the same Tambua that bungled, bungled the rotational presidency that was agreed. I was privy to a number of meetings between himself and Wiki. Wiki was telling him, my brother, I stood for you in 2019. I was there for you. Stayed by me, and I would equally work with you. Mm. But when you are saying demons that time, I was laughing. A man is who he is mm. by nature and eternally. That is who Tambua is. Let me go on a break from you. No, when I come back, we will start with Nima. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thank you for staying with us. Nima had a question. Go ahead, please. Yes, so I, I saw your congratulatory message to the president-elect, um, uh, Bashiwaju, and I was wondering, this man is a PDP man. Mm. Why a congratulatory, a congratulatory message to him, especially say, seeing the position that the PDP was at the time? But what exactly would you say is your um, opinion of his person? Who's person? Ashiwaju's personality. Well, I'm not going to come and talk about Ashwaju. Mm. 
You understand? Nigerians had made him their president elect. Mm. <clears throat> it was a long drawn struggle. If there's anybody so abused, so insulted, mm. it will be that Ashwaju I made by Latinovo. And I've not hidden my respect for him as a Yoruba from a Yoruba extraction who is a leading light that has helped a lot of people. And I want to say it here, and I stand to be corrected. I have not, by any standard, benefited from Ashwaju politically in my life. Mm. I have never, by any standard, till today, when I helped ACN to install Governor Kaudi to join hands to install Governor Fire Kaudi Fire me in Nikiti. They promised to support me for the Senate. Ojudu came and said it was going to be, despite the fact that Achiwaju said he should not. Today, it was the same Ojudu who came out and said if Achiwaju becomes president, he will go to exile or whatever. Mm. So, a number of things we do. We don't know what tomorrow holds with it. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to watch a brief for him. But I have my respect for him. And I know he has sense enough to know how he got here. Mm. For him not to disappoint Nigerians. All those people protesting, they are wasting their time. Mm. It's better an election not, not done, not announced. The moment that the election is announced, you are only jambalaying. Gamba line, just running your mouth like uh, well, why do you think because you said this man was bruised, battered, insulted, the strategy against him. This mm. is one person. Why do you think that was? Is it, I mean, was it fear of this man becoming president? Was it a hate or resentment? What exactly caused that much agitation against see, this one human being? If you are heading to success in life, your enemies will be as much as your the outcome of your success. Mm. If you are heading for success, Ashwaju was obviously heading for success. In fact, it will get to a point that it will look as if it, it, got, it will have got into a hopeless situation. When you saw the currency issue, it was near a near hopeless situation for him. The way they were saying things, bullion in uh, bullion van in body loan and all that. But if God has destined you, nobody can undo it. So let us just Again, congratulate him. Mm. I don't pull people down. Ajuaju is already, already elected. Mm. Mm. I stand with him. Okay. Particularly, he's it, coming as regularized the north-south dichotomy. Mm. And his, his presidency, he himself will learn from how he got this, this far and give his best to Nigerians. I will okay, come sir. to that in a minute. Yes. <laughs> Are you still a member of the PDP? I, I, I took the last few days, stepped aside. Oh. And the reason is very simple. I have told them, if they don't want me, I'm in my house. But in the meantime, as a, as a leader, we must be able to save our country and say the truth as it is. Mm. When you allow party to give you a coloration, your conscience will remain buried. When a righteous, when the country needs a man to speak up for the country, for, for stand up for the truth, and the man because of political coloration cannot speak up, mm. then it's not fair to the country. Mm. It, it, there, there are some Republicans, when there are issues in America, they stand up and speak for their country or the other side. Mm. They speak for their country, they vote against their party, mm. all because they want the future of their country retained right. beyond political coloration. Let's talk about this north and south dichotomy you mentioned earlier because I could almost see every Yoruba, say, Yoruba person back then saying, ah, the north would, they will not will betray Ashiwaju. Eh, it's not this northerners. They will betray Ashiwaju. That's their only fear that Ashiwaju might lose because the north, who said they will support him, are likely to at the last minute vote against him. Mm. But we saw otherwise. Is what do you think this, what do you, what do you think this means? Because many people thought otherwise. You know, if you look at that election, you will see that the North reasonably voted for Atiku. Yes. Reasonably voted for Atiku. Yes, yes. You will equally see that Ashiwaju was a recording decimal, second position, second position in most of the places. That was what gave him the spread. 
The fact remains that in, in Castina, where the president comes from, the president got 1,279,000 votes in 2019. This time, Atiku won by 7,000 votes, which means about over 1.2 million votes were reversed. Mm. So is the case in some of the states in the north, like Yobe, that has never been won by PDP before. And that's why people, when they talk, they, this election was rigged. I will start to laugh at them. In the president's home state of, of the party that the candidate comes from, the candidate of the party, APC, lost there. They didn't say that it was rigged there. In the home state of the candidate of the APC, I assure you, OB, OB defeated him. Yeah. And I equally want to appreciate God for the coming of OB too. Because a lot of things are now... There's a lot of consciousness in the mm. system. Mm. Everybody now has to sit right. You understand? Yeah. It will be coming, you know, I said it. Obi is the man with the tailwind. Obi did well. Obi, Obi became an issue. You see, they, they thought, they thought uh, it was a joke. It became an hurricane. Mm. It, it became the issue. So that what I'm trying to say yeah. is that. But Obi did not get, the North did not buy into his agenda. Right. Obi did not get the required 25%. You see, I am, I am somebody, I believe in Obi, I love him. He's one of our brothers. That he has made a statement. He's a man for tomorrow. Anybody, you might not like my, my own position on issue, issues, but I will tell you as it is. If you greet me, fine. If you don't greet me, fine. But it remains the fact that Ashiwaju won that election fair and square. That's cool. You can blackmail people. Politicians were like that. Okay, who, who won between PDP and uh, APC? If you say uh, uh, Obi is laying claim, Ashwadu is laying claim, they said the uh, APC rigged them. So who, 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 who among them won PDP that election? Obi was the undoing of PDP. Simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. Obi took out PDP. You understand? Mm -hmm. The hurricane in the southeast, the hurricane <coughs> in the south south. Most governors now. You have to fight for their lives yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. I saw Tambua in Abuja on the rally there. I said, somebody should go and tell him, go back home. <laughs> kia, kia. Well, there's work to be done. Well, I you don't need to call it work. They will, when they put fire there, you know it's not water. Mm. You must learn from Obi. Yeah. But we should not call it say, because I didn't win. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We must discredit. Yeah, let me try let's, jump in here. Let, let, let's go back to the G5 governors because one of the demands that you know Governor Wiki was now making after the uh, the governor of uh, Delta State for vice president was, are you must step down? Yes. Like if are you stepped down and chairmanship of the PDP came south, mm. it could realign. Yes. So if that demand had been given, was would things have turned out differently? See, I went to. The, our candidate invited me, Atiku Abubakar invited me. And I told him I was going to tell Wiki before I can come. And Wiki said I can go. Somebody who says, but you are an older governor than Wiki or whatever. That's your story. God makes kings. God makes people, leaders. Your brother might be younger, older, as long as he's the leader, he's the leader. So I went to um, our candidate in his hotel. And I told him, I said, Your Excellency, it will be of great interest if you win this election. These are the demands of these people. I said, Please stop saying by constitution, I you cannot be removed. I advised him, I gave him alternative to what he should be saying. And I told him, The more you are mentioning this constitution, they will be reminding you that you are not supposed to be the candidate. Mm. How, can, how can they hold on to an IU against Wiki, against Ugwai, against uh, the governor of Abia, against the uh, uh, um, governor of Benue and all? Even if you tell me that they lost, everybody knows Obi was more than on ground in the East. Yes. They were not expecting that the miracle would happen. Mm -hmm. But the issue is that I told His Excellency Atiku Abuaka, I said, sir, 
go to Port Harcourt. Don't tell anybody. People like me will go and wait for you there. Mm. I will stay there. I will stay by Governor Wiki. Don't announce your <coughs> coming. Just get a few friends that can provide convoy for you. Come and park at Governor Wiki's gates. They will come and tell us where, wherever we are that you are at the gates. Wiki won't be that hard to say you should not come in. Isn't it? So we will now sit down there. You will hold Wiki, my brother, my brother, and settle the matter. All the people around that Tiko Abewa can say, no, Oga cannot be go there. Don't oh, embarrass mm. our, our Oga. Is the president in the waiting? Mm. It cannot. Nobody, nobody can. Nobody can play God. Mm. So, results are Allah Samudachi. Results are. Abi. Yeah. Let let let's. Yeah, so, um, a follow up of my other question. Um, seeing the mistakes that the PDP has made, obviously, which has backfired against them. If the APC approaches you, will you join their party? Again, let me say it very clearly. I'm glad you asked this question. I've said this more than 10, 20, 30 times over the public, to the public that I am not a member of the APC. And I will never, I, I your Peter Fayushi, will never be a member of the APC. Never. You see, my respect for Ashwaju does not now turn me to become an APC member. And my belief in that we as leaders must say the truth. I don't jump from one party to the other. That's not my style. Mm -hmm. Even at this age, what do I want? I don't want, I can't be president of Nigeria again. At this age, I can't be, what am I looking for that will make me, is it, do I want to use the AP for a platform to contest election? Mm -hmm. No, my, my, my son mm -hmm. contested the last house of reps. So am I going to be struggling with my son again? Not in these days of Obi, Obi or Rike, no. Mm. These boys will tell you that is no. Let, let, let's talk about rest. the Obi or Rike because of the underestimation of the Obi. Mm. Okay, I'm hearing the hurricane for the first time. Mm -hmm. But many people underestimated him. In your view, mm. how do you think that this new wave, this new third force, mm. how do you think they can become, what, what can they do to leverage on this, what they've gotten so far. Because many are saying that the next election is likely going to be between APC and LP. Mm -hmm. And PDP might be totally even dead. We will have been gone that time. You agree? The PDP will have gone that time. You see, t tell, us, tell us who wants to come and wake this party when the likes of Wiki are angry. Tell me who wants to wake this. Atiku will soon finish now and go to Dubai. Mm. Atiku will soon go to Dubai. He will have, I mean, this is not negative because that's where he stays. Mm. So, you see, all this, all this uh, rally that they were doing yesterday is just to say that uh, I try you before I left. <laughs> <laughs> that was why you saw all those rallies. Nothing more, all those protests. But you can't blame him. He's an elderly man. Mm. At some point, he has to go and rest his life. He has tried. Mm. He has tried. Mm. So what I'm saying to you, and I want to tell you that, these will be people we have not seen their hand, though. Mm. 2027... Is close by. Even if OB at the end of the day loses in court, it is not over. It's over. not over until it's over. Right. Mm. Let's talk about Lagos State for a moment because the elections are this is not just Lagos State, across the country. Yeah. 28 governors <coughs> will be fighting for their seat yeah. on Saturday. Uh, you said, as we said, Lagos State, for example, lost their the two LP on the presidential elections. And there's a lot of fear. You know, what are your thoughts on Baba Chidi Sonwulu coming back? Uh, for his second term, and the fact that different candidates, especially from the LP, are all waking up and saying, taking the opportunity of last um, mm. two weekends and elections to see how they can bring in new um, people to run against him. What are your thoughts on the elections coming up on Saturday, especially in Lagos? Well, uh, again, let me tell you that um, I am not an APC member, and I will not be one. Let us profile the candidates. It's unfortunate. The Obi Hurricane came at the time he came, but it was still good. For even the APC to realize that nobody should be taken for granted. They are members, they must be awake to realities. Right. Now, the candidate of the PDP and, and his deputy, they are like theater people. <laughs> and it will be like somebody doing theater, Yoruba theater. When you see their poster, you know these ones are... 
uh, candidates by accident. Jesus Christ. There's no point bothering. Negotiators don't bother about that PDP candidate. I mean, when you see morning, you will determine what the evening will be. For me, don't really worry, and I don't really want to talk about them. Mm. Tell me, when you say have a bite, <coughs> your teeth must have the grab. What, what, what catchment does uh, Jandon has? Mm. And uh, my sister, okay? These uh, theater people, what would they come and do? To do watch theater, theater Yoruba or English, or Ausa, Ausa theater. Mm. In an election that you already got 75,000, uh, in, in, in a general election, you, they should go and uh, rest. Okay. If I were them, I, I, will, I will go and rest. But you know, some people with the election, <coughs> they, can want, they may want to cash out, looking for help here. Yeah. But that so, the alliance talks between them and LP? Uh, yes, an you see, Obi, Obi, there are no two individuals that are the same. That moment and momentum was for Obi. Was for Obi, oh. If I say, because Fawaz was popular when he was contesting the election, so that now, now, can carry my son automatically, can carry my friend or my wife automatically, I'm deceiving myself. Mm. The momentum, the tailwind, like I always tell you, was an obese hurricane. hurricane. Now, let's go to the candidate of Labour Party. The candidate of Labour Party, for my findings, was born in Lagos, cannot speak Yoruba. Say they will get the interpreter for our governor <laughs> to explain the edge of the public. I want you to know you about what they will get interpreter for our for him, the candidate of the Labour Party. You see, you can't say because we'll be won an election, you want to take advantage. Okay. Nobody will hand over Lagos, Lagos State. This Lagos State is the economic hub of Nigeria. How do we how are we going to throw the baby and the bathwater away? What risk would you want to take? For me, I think Sonwolu, the Lagosians, should return Sonwolu as governor of Lagos State. The reason is that Sonwolu, <laughs> if you look at him, you understand, may, 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 as a result of whatever feelings anybody may have, may not be perfect, but he's got the experience now. Lagos is not a toy, toy, toy state to, where you, you can go to a kitchen. Well, many will argue that Lagos State is a cosmopolitan state where it's a melting pot and everybody's there, so you don't need somebody that speaks the, speaks language, the language necessarily uh, to leave that Lagos. Me, sir. Why don't you carry me to go and be governor in Igbo land? You carry me to the north now and let me go and be governor in, in, in the north. Mm. Because Kano is cosmopolitan in the north, or Kaduna is cosmopolitan. Carry me now to go go there because I was born in Kano and speaking Hausa. Let us don't let us try what what is not. I told I'm sorry I want to give this example. In 2015, I told Nigerians this is how <coughs> President Buhari will end his journey. This will happen. This will happen. This will happen. Yes, everybody should go and sit down. I've always told Nigerians the end in the beginning, not God. Oh, I'm not God. Oh, I told you what will happen at every stage of this. His presidency, it happened like that, and I'm telling you, don't try it. Hmm. No, no, I'm not saying anybody should believe me, but if you love Ayo Fayoshi, because I have my own audience too. Your fans. I have them. If you believe in me, whether Ibo, whether Yoruba, whether Usa, whether Takpa, whether Togo, vote Baba Jide, Sawolu, and quote me as saying so. Ayo Fayoshi is my name, hmm. and I want to say it. We cannot throw the baby and the bathwater <coughs> away. The events of last Saturday was apt for our country, was a wake-up call, but that, is not, that would not be enough to say that mm. uh, 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 Baba Jide Sonwo Olu right. has I tried. Let's talk in for about you. You know, this saying things because you have seen a trajectory that you know, uh, in the past or your, you can foresee some things. The Apga chairperson was saying that you know, an oath was taken by Peter Obi <laughs> to never leave Abga. And that he left Abga is why he couldn't <coughs> achieve presidency in an election in this country. He gave instances in an interview um, on the popular <coughs> TV where he, he was talking I listened to that interview. And even quoted the only book. How, what do you have to say about you know, such seeing future? I, 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 I listened to that interview, but I don't agree with him. Mm -hmm. One, I was not part of the oath taking. 
politicians we can like like cheetah. Hi. Politicians, they will lie with their mother's grave. Even if they have their own grave somewhere, they will remember. I, 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 they will tell you things. <clears throat> I don't uh, assess on ephemeral things. I cannot, I cannot uh, substantiate. substantiate. So for, for me, it will be a stride. Mm -hmm. But that, even the Igbo people would not want to create unnecessary problems for themselves in Lagos. They don't need it. If you have people so well organized in terms of business in Lagos, it's been Igbo people. And if the, if the governor or governors that has passed through Lagos have not given you that environment, it wouldn't be easy to do that. So I want to enjoy our brother, the Igbo brothers of us. You have done well by voting Obi. You have made your statement. There's another 2027. Obi is the issue you are looking out for. But Lagos, this Lagos, don't let us begin to tinker with it. If PDP has gotten a very competent, Capable, somebody who has capacity, not, uh, not, uh, mm. I don't know how to call okay. it so that I will have said you should vote for me, but today, vote okay. Babajide Sonwolu. I think it's so, a good I wanted, that for you. I wanted to, okay, what, you have a question. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to ask you so, um, if you have an opportunity to see Al Haji Atikwa Babaka right now, mm -hmm. looking at you, what advice would you give to him? I won't give him advice, though. Mm -hmm. I won't give him advice, though, because you know. The, I've told you politicians, <laughs> we don't see well. We have issues. You will know you have lost. Ah, didn't we do the same thing they did yesterday, 2019? I was on the truck with them now. <laughs> the same way. We were tear gas. Police headquarters. It only God saved me. My <laughs> wife had to call me, come back home. I went from there. I didn't even go back to my hotel. I packed my things. I ran to the airport. So those things are, there are things we have done in the past has ended up no, in no, nowhere. And some politicians who want to make money, they will be pushing you, let's do rally. They will, they will eat inside, they will cash out. They will tell you, how can you be in court and still be in the... You're doing rally. I have to come back, because we have to wrap up soon. And I know that the elections this weekend are really important. I want to come back to um, Governor Song Wulu, mm -hmm. because one of the key things people had against him was the answers, you know, and you've been governor before mm -hmm. and you understand what it is to be a governor of a state and the choices you have. If you were in his shoes during that period, I mean, we saw how he displayed in COVID, he defended the state and even the nation being that person that ensured there was a lot of efficiency on COVID. But many people still hold that answers against him. If you were a governor, would you have done anything different from what he did? Well, you see, answers was uh, a bitter experience. And uh, it is server that is a leader at a time of a challenge that bears the brunt. Mm. But let me say to you, it will, be, it will not be enough to judge the future of Lagos by that alone. Sanwulu has done well in other areas. A lesson has been learned out of the, out of the nobody, nobody was expecting COVID. We can say the government at the time in Nigeria did not manage COVID too well. Mm. But COVID, COVID was a disaster, was an event, was an occurrence nobody expected. The answers, it was not Babaji De Sonwulu that, that shot. The military cannot de deny what they did. But sometimes this politics, you want to marry both the mother and the father and the baby to make sure you don't lose any, any one of them. It is regrettable that that happened. But I still want to plead with people, give Sonwolu a chance. The, the, nobody will finish everything in government. And if you look at, if you look at the situation, Eko has been peaceful for a while. That incident for our young people is very disheartening. But we plead with them, let us sit down. And Sonwolu himself should begin to sit down with them. As governor, you have to continue to dialogue. I'm not saying you are not doing that, but do more. But, but the truth be said, at the time of um, you know, the protests that led to the NSAS, he was the most engaging governor of all the governors. I said you should do more. He was, you know, he was um, stoned and he was not given audience by the youth. And so now he has to do it. He was visible at the protest. 
So it, it, it's, it, it's almost like there's nothing to do to appease. You well, see, the, 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 the young people were at that time frustrated with a number of issues beyond, beyond the... Uh, beyond, uh, uh, we were frustrated, and that led to their reaction in the NSA saga. But what I'm saying to you is that lessons must have been learned mm -hmm. by the governor, by the people, by the young people. Let us find common grounds for more engagement. The young people want to be engaged. You know, our place, they said, it is a man who does not allow you to rest that you eventually fall for. That's the truth. So, some of you should continue to engage more, engage more, so that he will be able to, they will be able to defend him more than ever before. The governors across other PDP states, are you in support? I know you obviously not supported the one in Lagos, but across other states in the I country. I support PDP. I said, I told you, election, election, state governor, uh, state elections are local. Everybody may not be able to see Buhari, but they will be able to see their governor. So please support all PDP governors and House of Assembly candidates at the various state levels. Except Lagos. You know, except Lagos. Le you see, we don't have candidates that have <laughs> capacity in Lagos. I've told you, if we have a candidate uh, that can, you see, this one has no capacity. This one uh, is an opportunist who wants to use to be. But isn't that your personal view, sir? Because some I, people remains, who are supporting them see agree, that they have I capacity. I agree with you absolutely. I never said any of these things I'm saying here are general public's view. My personal view. And that was why I said to the people that believe in Ayofayoshi to take what I've said and do the same. Yeah. So I, I, I'm you. not going to stand here and say I'm speaking for anybody. I'm speaking for myself. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Not many, so many people have this idea, but they don't have courage to come out like this. Yeah. Eh? Me, I'm here. Mm. I, 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 in I was a two-time governor of Ikiti. I defeated incumbents at the two attempts. So people normally call me Ekunoke, Ushokumole, Enumole, Funje, Jollof Rice. I'm adding in Daboski to it. Oh I, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I think, I think, I think it was a pleasure having Can you, sir. Can we take some? Uh, take a few messages on social media. Online from Raya Rosov. So, um, oh, sorry. Any messages for our guests? Um, on the earlier topic, that Omo Olofa Mojo says, if you are watching, if you are not watching TVZ Connect this morning, honestly, you are missing. Fire is so funny. Even the anchors could not hold their laughter. Um, Mayor of Ikorodu said, "Why is the PDP leader in Lagos, but the judge then supporting the Labour Party?" He said he will move out of the country once Ashwa is. Uh, no, no. See, but the judge <coughs> may have a reason for his action. Because that was why I said the candidate in Lagos is not supposed to be the candidate. You know why? But Jibode George were the people, were the leader of the people supporting that guy, the Lagos State PDP candidate. Mm. And he agreed with them to take this uh, candidate of Labour Party. Yes, Five or. Five or as his deputy. Yes. So they agreed, but the guy went to do, do another thing. I went to go, go and pick uh, okay. uh, the theater woman. At the end of the day, the body judge advised that guy to go to labor. So it's understandable. Mm -hmm. I am sp I, I'm an insider. Mm -hmm. So I am speaking on the strength of the three candidates, not personal. Okay, mm -hmm. one important message here. Ike Chikelu says, I like Songo. Songo Lu, he has tried and he really did his best. It is God's will, he will return. But let it be on record that the contest is between two Yorubas and Igbo should stop, stop being attacked. Leaders watch. There's no Igbo reason to attack Igbo people, sir. Mm. That's the truth. There's no reason. Igbo is they are, they, Igbo people are good people, though. Is this Obi that gives an, a perception uh, as if they are, you know, they've not allowed Igbo to, to be president in Nigeria. Yes. Mm. So that could inform the actions of Igbo people. Yeah. So I stand with them. But Ashwaju is already president elect. And Lagos is for. Abajide, Sanwolu. It's almost like it's a Southwest thing when you stand. You stood for Ashiwaju, yeah, exactly. and now you are talking for Governor Abajide, uh, Sanwolu. Okay, that is all we can take on uh, today's. I'm trying to see if there's anybody. Say, okay. you have one of, Mariah, you have with you one of the most honest politicians around. Mm. 
like him or hate him, Oshoko is a truthful politician. Okay, Honorable Ademola also says, Governor Ayodele Fashe, thank you for always speaking the truth to issues that affect governance in our country. Please continue to stand for the truth and one day God will use you to bring good governance to Nigeria. I'm a follower of you and hope to see you soon. Tell all Please. my followers, go and vote for Sonwolu. That's all we can take, sir. Thank you. On this thank, one. thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I hope you enjoyed the show as Is much as we have. Me? No, it's for the oh, guests. I saw your pictures on this one. So I didn't see my own picture. <laughs> yeah, Ellie, you Please, so they're asking, uh, which jollof rice did you irumole eat? Ghana jollof or uh, Jollof? Uh, uh, on Sundays, so father. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>